Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to be creating a main menu for our game in Unreal Engine 5. It's going to be quick and easy and all project files will be available down in the video description. Also the gameplay which you're seeing on screen is my game Enigma which will be coming out very soon on Steam. I will be pushing out updates on that very very soon. Also, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, you can go ahead and join my Discord server. Link is down in the video description. And if you guys do wish to support me, the link to my Patreon as well is down there. So over here we have this untitled level, we'll not be using this. So create a new folder called maps in your content folder. I just have a blank project over here. Open it up and create a new level. We'll call this one main menu. Ideally, that's what you would call it. Open it up and you should be presented with a blank level. So basically we'll load into our actual game map once we, you know, click on the play button. So under your content, create a new folder. We'll call this one UI. And this is where we'll create our main menu widget. So go to user interface, widget blueprint and create a user widget. We'll call this one BP main menu widget blueprint. You can call it anything. You can have your own naming conventions. The first thing that we'll use is a canvas panel. This will allow us to drag widgets to whatever position on screen that we desire to. All right. And we should be able to create it by just creating it in the level blueprint. Ideally, if you do have something else, you do it inside a player controller class. Anyways, we'll be doing it in the level blueprint for simplicity sake. If you do know how to use the player controller, you'd probably not be watching this tutorial anyways. So we can go ahead and type in create visit. We'll create our main menu. We'll add it to the viewport. Once we have the main menu on our viewport. Now, if you just go ahead and press play, nothing's going to happen because we don't have anything in the main menu. So if I just drag in some text, for example, you would be able to see that our text will be visible over there. Anyways, let's go ahead and create our main menu contents. Now we are going to be having three buttons. You can expand it to how much ever you want. So we'll go ahead and add in a button. Now there's one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you want these buttons to be vertically or horizontally aligned. So if you have something like player announced battlegrounds where you have the play button over here and then you have another button here, maybe options or something, and you have an exit button over here, then you'd align it horizontally, but we'll go ahead and create a menu to align it vertically. So go ahead and create a vertical box. A vertical box is going to allow us to have one column, basically have multiple things inside of it. You can go ahead and place the vertical button inside the vertical box and that's not going to do anything. So in the hierarchy, you can just drag this inside the vertical box like this. You can hit Ctrl D to duplicate it two times. Let's go ahead and add in some text to the buttons. So go ahead and add text. Add text here as well and add text here as well. Now, if you would notice, it's just occupying the top of our widget, but we want it to occupy the entire place. So we can go ahead and click on fill. But now it just takes up the entire space. Maybe we want some spacing in between. So what we can do is we can go ahead and add some padding at the top and the bottom. So let's say 20 and let's say 20. So that should be fine. You can customize it again. I'll not be going too much into this. All right. So that seems fine. And just one more thing which I do want to brush upon is making these uh, rounded edges which is a good styling thing to have in your main menu. So if you just go ahead and type in draw as, you'd see rounded box by default. If you don't, if, you, if box or something else is selected, select rounded box. And then if you just type in radius, you'd find this over here. So if I go ahead and type this, you get corner radii. Let's say I type 20 for this. So 20 is a bit too less, I guess, for these buttons. So 30 seems fine. So you can do this and you can have rounded corners for your button. So this is for the normal setting when you're not pressing the button. When you hover your mouse over, 
this is the setting which you will be worrying about and this is when you have it pressed so we'll go ahead and move this vertical box somewhere over here and one thing to note is that you have to change the anchor to the left one of course depending on where you want your widget to be so over here if i just go ahead and check my canvas panel slot i want to change my anchor to this set the y alignment to not 0.5 and if you notice, if I change the position Y to zero now, it's going to be centered exactly. So regardless of what screen I have, so if I go ahead and resize my window, as you see, it's always staying at the center of my screen. If I go ahead and don't do that, so let's go ahead and make this top aligned. So if you would notice, it's using the top as the anchor. So it's not always going to be centered. So that's the reason you would want to use this anchor, depending on which position on your screen you want it to be. And for the X, let's just say 128. That seems fine. And Y is going to be zero. Size, let's just make it 300 by 450 maybe. Now for the text, we'll call this one play. We'll call this one, let's say settings and we will call this one exit now furthermore you can actually add an outline to this button to make it look good so if you go ahead and type in outline you can see outline width which you can customize over here and what you can also do is you can go ahead and change the color so this is going to be the color over here so if you go ahead and change this up to a color a dark color like this you can go ahead and use that and maybe the text you can make it normal or light right by default it is uh, the bold font so if i go ahead and check this up under appearance if i go ahead and select regular so i can have that as well and preferably just center align that it is left aligned by default just center align it Alright, now if I go ahead and press play, as you see, we have our play, settings and exit button, which scales properly. Alright, now what you'd want to do is you'd want to have something in the background. So you can either choose to have some sort of a static image or you can go ahead and use something in the background itself. So you can have a fixed camera or something. We'll go ahead and create a static image instead. Just for demonstration purposes, I've gone ahead and opened up an image over here. So I have this image. This will be included in the project files, not to worry. So we'll just call this one main menu background image. You can call it whatever you want. Now, what you want to do is behind this, you want an image. So you can either select an image or a border. We'll be using the image. And in the anchors, you can go ahead and set it to fill and just set all the offsets to zero. So that way it's going to occupy the entire screen. The alignment really doesn't matter here. So make this below the vertical box so that it overlays on top. And for the brush image, we are going to change that to our main menu background image. So as you can see, we have this over there and the image itself seems to be a little br on the brighter side, so we can't really see the white border. So I'll just go ahead and make it a little more darker. All right. Now, if I go ahead and press play, as you can see, we can see our main menu. And the reason this is happening is because the image is of a certain aspect ratio and, you know, our menu is resizing. We can fix this to an extent by wrapping this with a scale box. So wrap this widget with a scale box and what we can do here is in the scale box instead of the anchors being like this we can go ahead and just set the uh, anchor to be a centered one and just make sure the image fills the whole thing now what you want to do is in the scale box go ahead and use scale to fit now if you go ahead and press play you would notice that the image does not get distorted However, you do get black bars, which if you don't want, you can go ahead and increase the size over here. 
so you can go ahead and change the alignment first to 0.5 and 0.5 so that the image stays at the center note that this is only if you you know don't want your image to be stretched otherwise you don't really need to worry about this let's just have a little bit of headroom so let's say 2300 by i don't know 2300 into 9 by 16 is what it should be so let's go ahead and see how this looks and as you can see now we pretty much get a lot of headroom now if you want you can scale it up again or use a larger image up to you so this is basically how you would handle scaling the actual background image now let's just go ahead and add quick functionality to the play button so we'll just go to another level exit is going to be fairly simple as well so go ahead and create a new map in the maps folder and call this one game map so once you've created this game map level you can go ahead and open it up or do whatever but what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and open it when we click this button so on click so we haven't selected the button so it's not a variable so we'll call this one play button go ahead and add an on click event and we are going to open level we can open it by object reference and we are going to open the game map so all that is fine now if i go ahead and press play oops i'm in the game a game map so open up the main menu if i go ahead and press play we load into the game map you can have a loading screen or something like that if you guys do want an asynchronous loading screen make sure you guys do comment that down below i am going to make that in the next video settings you can choose what to do with it i'll just show you guys the exit part so exit this is pretty much the most easiest thing which you could possibly imagine so you're going to execute console command and over here you can type in exit go ahead and press play you can go ahead and exit it's going to quit the game as simple as that you can go ahead and press play and it's going to go to your game map and that's where you'll have your actual game playing out so that's it for this video guys Thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Goodbye.